Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to prove a property of inverse of a matrix. If we multiply the inverse of a matrix A with the original matrix A, or if we multiply the original matrix A with its inverse, we will get an identity matrix. If A is a matrix and A to the power minus 1 is its inverse, then the product must be equal to the identity matrix. In order to prove this property, first of all, we will find the inverse of matrix A. Here we have taken a matrix of 3 by 3 order. In order to find the inverse of a matrix, there are two conditions which must be satisfied. The first condition is that it should be a square matrix. And the second condition is that it should be a non-singular matrix. Evidently, matrix A here is a square matrix where the number of rows is equal to the number of columns which is equal to 3. In order to satisfy the second condition, we need to find the determinant of matrix A. The determinant of matrix A can be found by expanding along the first row. By deleting the row and the column in which element 4 is present, we are left with elements 3, 1, minus 1, 4. Element 1 is present in the first row and second column. Its sum is equal to an odd number, so we will have a negative sign. On deleting the row and the column in which element 1 is present, we are left with elements minus 2, 1, 3, 4. Element minus 5 is present in the first row and third column. Its sum is equal to an even number, we will have a positive sign. On deleting the row and the column in which element minus 5 is present, we are left with elements minus 2, 3, 3, and minus 1. Since the determinant of matrix A is 98 which is not equal to 0, therefore matrix A is a non-singular matrix. We can now proceed to find the cofactors of each element of matrix A. The cofactor of an element Aij is equal to minus 1 to the power i plus j times its minor. Here i is the row in which the element is present and j is the column in which the element is present. So the cofactor of A11 is equal to minus 1. It is present in the first row and first column. So we have 1 plus 1 times its minor. Minor is obtained by deleting the row and the column in which the elements A11 is present. 1 plus 1 equals 2. Minus times minus equals plus. So we have a positive sign. There is another way of finding the cofactors of each element of a matrix without following this approach. The sign of the cofactor of a matrix can be found by determining its positional sign. Element A11 is present in the first row and first column. Its sum is equal to an even number. Therefore, we have a positive sign. Element A12 is present in the first row and second column. Its sum is equal to an odd number. Therefore, we have a negative sign. Element A13 is present in the first row and third column. Its sum is equal to an even number. Therefore, we have a positive sign. Similarly, element A23 is present in the second row and third column. Its sum is equal to an odd number. Therefore, we will have a negative sign. Similarly, all the other positional signs are determined in this manner. Having known how to find the positional sign of each element of a matrix, now we shall proceed to find the cofactor of each element. Let us find the cofactor of element A11. Its positional sign is plus. Element A11 is 4. On deleting the row and the column in which element A11 is present, we are left with elements 3, 1, minus 1, the positional sign of element A12 is minus. Element A12 is 1. On deleting the row 
and a column in which element 1 is present, we are left with elements minus 2, 1, 3, 4. Positional sign of A13 is plus. Element A13 is minus 5. On deleting the row and a column in which element 5 is present, we are left with elements minus 2, 3, 3, minus 1. Positional sign of A21 is negative. Element A21 is negative 2. On deleting the row and the column in which element negative 2 is present, we are left with elements 1, minus 5, minus 1, 4. Positional sign of A22 is plus. Element A22 is 3. On deleting the row and the column, we are left with elements 4, minus 5, 3, 4. Positional sign of element A23 is minus. Element A23 is 1. On deleting the row and the column, in which element 1 is present, we are left with elements 4, 1, 3, minus 1. Positional sign of A31 is plus. Element A31 is 3. On deleting the row and the column in which element 3 is present, we are left with elements 1, minus 5, 3, 1. Positional sign of element A32 is minus. Element A32 is minus 1. On deleting the row and the column in which element minus 1 is present, we are left with elements 4, minus 5, minus 2, 1. Positional sign of element A33 is plus. Element A33 is 4. On deleting the row and the column, in which element 4 is present, we are left with elements 4, 1, minus 2, 3. Let us now frame the cofactor matrix. The cofactor matrix comprises of all the cofactors of each element of matrix A. The cofactor of element A11 is 13. The cofactor of element A12 is 11. The cofactor of element A13 is minus 7. The cofactor of element A21 is 1. The cofactor of element A22 is 31. The cofactor of the element A23 is 7. The cofactor of element A31 is 16. The cofactor of the element A32 is 6. The cofactor of the element A33 is 14. Let us now find the adjoint matrix. The adjoint matrix is a transpose of the cofactor matrix. The transpose of a matrix can be found by interchanging the rows into columns and columns into rows. Let us rewrite the first row as first column, the second row as second column, and the third row as third column. Let us now substitute the determinant of matrix A and the adjoint of matrix A in the formula for finding the inverse of matrix A. The determinant of matrix A is 98. This is the adjoint of matrix A. Let us now multiply the inverse of matrix A with its original matrix. The inverse of matrix A is 1 by determinant 98 times its adjoint. Let us multiply the two matrices. We will start by multiplying the first row with the first column. The first row with the second column. The first row with the third column. The second row with the first column.
the second row with the second column the second row with the third column next the third row with the first column the third row with the second column and finally the third row with the third column let us proceed to solve it further Let us now multiply 1 by 98 with each element inside the matrix. Therefore, the multiplication of an inverse of matrix A with its original matrix A is equal to an identity matrix.